We remain at Blackwell inside the signal box to see the procedure for the control of trains on the Licky Incline. The upline from Bromsgrove was provided with an intermediate block signal to allow two trains to climb the bank at the same time. After Blackwell had accepted an up train from Bromsgrove, the train left under the gantry at the south end of the platform and was then under the control of the Blackwell signalman. As the train accelerates up the bank, the Bromsgrove starter returns to danger. In the box at Blackwell, the signalman pulls off to give the train a clear run to the section. The train is first shown as following train in section as it proceeds up the bank towards the intermediate block signal. The line was fully track circuited and the train's position was shown on the signalling diagram. As soon as the train has passed the intermediate block signal, it shows as leading train in section and the signalman can return the signal to danger and accept a second train from Bromsgrove. It's interesting to note that both the locomotives seen here are Caprotti valve-geared versions of the familiar Stanier Black Fives. At Blackwell, the indicator shows that the signalman has accepted the second express, and as it runs onto his track circuits, it's shown as following train in section. All this is also displayed on the signalling diagram. The leading train comes past the box as the signalman looks out to ensure that the complete train with its bankers passes his box. When he's satisfied the complete train has passed him, he sets his home signal to danger whilst the second train approaches the intermediate block on the bank. This can now be cleared to allow the train to continue its climb as far as the signal box. With the banker cleared out of the way, the road can be set for the second train to proceed without being held up, as the leading train will have accelerated away on the level beyond Blackwell, giving a clear run for the second train. The signal returns to danger, and the bankers can reverse across to the down line to return to Bromsgrove, watched by the signalman. More than one banker at a time can be signalled in this way. The treatment of freight trains on the Licky also merited special attention. This Midland 4F has just come out of the goods loop at Blackpool and is to proceed down the bank. Note the bankers on the down road. In steam days, most freights had at least some of the wagons loose coupled. This meant that the wagons didn't have brakes controlled by the locomotive, only hand brakes on the wagons themselves. However, in many instances, freight trains would have a fitted head the wagons at the front of the train had been fitted with locomotive control brakes. In order to prevent the train from running away down the bank and pushing the locomotive along, it was necessary to apply the brakes before descending. The hand brakes had to be applied by a shunter at the side of the track, using a special pole as the train passed. This practice would certainly fall foul of health and safety at work legislation today. If the train had a fitted head, only every third or fourth loose wagon had to have its brakes applied. If it was fully loose coupled, all wagons had to have their brakes on. The signal goes off again to allow the passage of an up freight. These would usually take their bankers on in the reception sidings on the upside at Bromsgrove. Finally, we see a pair of Jinty bankers returning to their base. <laughs>